happy December. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas from the YouTubers who are doing Vlogmas. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments about how I'm not doing Vlogmas or I didn't hear why you're not doing Vlogmas, are you doing Vlogmas, you know, whatever. So I just figured, you know what, let me just mention it and explain why I chose, why I decided not to do Vlogmas this year. Right, so if you've been a subscriber since before 2021, then you probably remember that back in the year 2020, Christmas, I did Vlogmas. In fact, I did December Mass <laughs> because I vlogged every day in the month of December. Uh, so that was 30 days of content, okay, nonstop. And after that, in January, I went back to look at, you know, the analytics on my channel the views, the engagement, and all of that. And I realized that it, it actually probably hurt my channel more than it did it any good, you know, because I guess people were overwhelmed by the amount of content that was coming out. So they were watching everything, and even the ones they were watching, the um, uh, engagement was low, my click through rate was low. I mean, there were a few videos that did quite okay, but overall, in terms of views, my views were the same amount or right about the same amount they would have been if I had uploaded just based on my regular content. And I think at that time I was uploading three times a week. You know, that was my regular content at, at the time. So I looked at it, even the, the amount I earned, you know, from the entire December period, it just... It did not make it worthwhile. You know, another thing for me was that I felt like a lot of good content, really exciting content got drowned in that period because uh, uh, people weren't watching, you know, they, weren't, they were overwhelmed by the amount of content. So I had such good content that people would have enjoyed if they had gotten a chance to see it, but they never did, you know, and I already uploaded it, so I can't upload it twice, you know. And then another thing, yeah, quite a few reasons. Another reason was that it was so much work, I almost broke down. And at the time, I did not have a full-time job. I didn't have... Um, an eight to five, but now I do, you know, and at that time I still almost broke down. Like it was exhausting creating content, editing, doing it all by yourself for 30 days, nonstop. It was a lot. That's in addition to wife duties, mommy duties. It was just a whole lot, you know? So looking at my schedule for this year, looking at like, I did, I didn't want to do that to you guys again this year and or do that to the channel again this year, uh, by overwhelming you with content. I already upload four times a week. That's on Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's a lot already. So um, I, I do want to add an additional three to that. And also, I have a full-time job right now. And I, ju I just can't see. Like, I'm, I'm so busy working that I have little to no time for fun or for myself or to just, you know, do stuff. So I told Tosin, I was like, yeah, no, no vlogmas this year. Even he was happy. He was like, please don't stress yourself. Because he remembers how tasking it was for me, you know, last year. So maybe in the new year, hopefully the channel would have grown a whole lot more such that with every video I upload, I'll be engaging a lot of views to around me to say, okay, you know, um, I'm going to do vlogmas, you know, at, at the, hopefully that will happen. But for this year, I'm just going to stick, stick to my regular shadow, which is four times a week. I hope you guys understand that. I appreciate the love though. Thank you so much. All right. Also, I wanted to show you the things I got for me for Black Friday. It was interesting because I did not particularly shop for myself for Black Friday. That's a lie shop. <laughs> um, okay, let me address something else. Let me address something else before I go into what I shopped for, for Black Friday. Um, someone, I asked on Instagram that if people should tell me the things that they don't particularly like about me. Not like they don't like, but it's just kind of, uh, you know. And one of the comments, I didn't get a lot. I probably got like maybe three and it was just just like passing things like oh someone said oh my let's do it let's do it it tires them sometimes <laughs> you know just something nothing too serious but i did get one about oh my accent and i was like okay okay 
I'm going to say something about it. And it's because the job I do involves talking to Americans. On average, in a day, I probably talk to at least, at least seven to eight Americans, you know, and that's in a day or not in a week. So you can imagine in a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, you get it. So in, in conversing with them, it's only natural that my tonation, my accent, if you will, will not necessarily change, but it's influenced by how they speak, you know, because, because by the time I speak to them so many times, mine also starts to like that. There, there are some tonations that I start to pick up subconsciously from them and I start to, um, speak in a certain way, you know? So I, I, so for someone who doesn't know me, it might seem like, oh, why is she talking like that? Oh, why is she forming an accent? I am not forming. <clears throat> I am not forming an accent, okay? Okay, okay. It's just, it's just what it is, you know? And for those that live in the States, you understand what I'm saying. So it's not a matter of, oh, how long have you been in America? It's a matter of, by the time you constantly interact with Americans and, you know, over and over and over and over, it, it starts to, you, it's, it, that's why kids can move here or you can have your kids here. They grow up here. They don't speak with the Nigerian accent. They speak with the American accent because they relate with... Do you get what it is? So, did you, did you see Did you see how I just spoke now? So, it's not because... And you can see it comes out, it, go, it goes and everything. So, it's not like I'm deliberately trying to do it, not do it. It just... Gets, you get it. <laughs> if you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> All right. So for Black Friday, I majority of the shopping that I did was for Nimi. I needed to change his entire wardrobe color because, and I haven't. I'm not even done, but I did get a number of things. I got a lot of things actually. I got him trousers, shirts, and pajamas as well. And I still need to get him more, uh, especially because you know he goes to daycare all through the week, and so he's constantly changing clothes. And sometimes Sometimes even at like the daycare, they change his clothes. Maybe he gets stained or whatever, so they change that as well. And so, and also he has outgrown a lot of the clothes he had. You know, they're getting tight. His pictures are so tight now. I'm just like, uh, no. So I got him quite a few things. I'm just going to run you through them very quickly, but because it's quite a lot. But I just wanted to show you what I got. I got like uh, this pack of socks here because, you know, socks keeps going missing and we don't know why. <laughs> but it does have a lot though. Um, I got PJs. This is a PJ as well. Um, some more PJs here. This is probably my favorite. And this is by Cat and Jack. Is this pair of trousers. And I got him 18 months, size 18 months, because even though he isn't 18 months right now, he's 16 months. But the thing is, is it's going to be 18 months very soon. I wanted to go higher, but after 18 months, it kind of goes to 24. And I know that would be too big for him. So that's why I decided to stick to 18 months. But I really like this fabric right here. I got different colors of these trousers for him. Um, what I want to get him again are shoes. Um, I like that one as well. Another pair of black trousers, another trouser, a shirt, a shirt, a shirt, <laughs> trouser. Oh yeah, I do like this one too. The gray sweats. You know, there's a joke on TikTok about men wearing gray sweats at home and whatnot. I got my baby one. <laughs> Another black trousers, you know, cause it's winter now. So it's getting cold. I don't want him wearing shorts, you know, to daycare and all of that. Another trousers. So I'm so happy I got a lot of trousers. Then I got a lot of shirts as well. For the shirts, I got them from, um, Target because Target had a Black Friday sale and these shirts were going for like, uh, $5. Five dollars, five dollars. So I was able to just say, "You coming with me? You coming with me? You coming with me?" Five dollars. This one is pink. Yeah, I know the light is probably all over the place, but I'm really happy with it, and I'm happy that you know I'm going to throw out a lot of his current clothes and give him this one. Okay. All right. So in this vlog, I'm also going to go um, Christmas decoration shopping. 
Talking about Christmas decoration, you guys, see, my Christmas tree, I, I just told us we have to put it up, but Nimi, Nimi, Nimi will not let it stay. Nimi will eat those leaves <laughs> and every decoration you put on it. So what I've decided to do is that that tree is not going to stay inside the house. It's going to stay on the balcony. I know. <laughs> it's going to stay on the balcony because I just, I can't be shouting, stop it, don't go there. No, Nimi. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. And then I'll get uh, other decorations that can stay on top of counters and whatnot, just so we get in the Christmas spirit. But we don't have any of those, so I'm going to go shopping for those in this vlog as well. So I should probably end this here and then I'll see you when I'm on my way out. See ya okay i'm back so let me tell you what just happened <laughs> i already started taking off my clothes because i was like oh yeah i'm glad i got that done but then i was watching it back because i like to watch the videos back immediately i shoot them so i can know that okay my audio was working fine i was watching it back and i realized that oh my gosh i spoke for like what 10 minutes this entire short you know address accent black friday and vlogmas 10 minutes has passed so what I'm going to do is probably leave my um, decoration shopping for another video. I'll just use this video as addressing it. You know, I'm going to have that serious thumbnail. Let me wear my jacket back. <laughs> you know, do you guys watch Dana? Dana, <laughs> Dana, equipment. That girl, she's got your locks down. Like she has, she has figured out this entire game of you know doing a interesting title and interesting um thumbnail that will make you guys click okay i need to go and learn from her she'll do she'll just on, on the on, <laughs> on the, she's so good at it on the um uh thumbnail she just does she does that <laughs> she now put the caption oh my camera she now put the caption I refuse to do this anymore. Hey, your heart's just really kick him. Ha, Diana, what happened? What happened? What are you not doing again? Click, click, click. Or maybe if you are in the middle of work, you at the back of your mind, you are thinking, I cannot go away to watch that video. <laughs> anyway, let me shoot my own thumbnail. No, I should probably, yeah, cause that light was reflecting. And I'll title this video, Finally Addressing It. Hey, Fada. This video. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Is that good? Should I do another one? No, I have to do like I'm tired. Like, like it's all over. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I think we got it. <laughs> That's my thumbnail. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this video as is. And then for the decoration shopping, that'll be another vlog. Hopefully I'll upload that um, very, very soon. Since I didn't show you the details of... So um, that would be another video as well, okay? But for this one, I'm going to end it right here. Thanks so much for watching. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again very, very soon. Um, I pray God blesses you, your homes, your marriages, your relationships. Most importantly, I pray God blesses you. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye.